Hi everyone and welcome to Alt VR. At this YouTube channel we are showing you alternative and experimental applications in virtual reality. Now in this episode we're going to take a look at 4D toys. This is a really interesting application because it allows you to experience multiple dimensions in virtual reality. So I'm going to show you a bit more how this works when we're actually checking it out. So yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, okay, we briefly saw a shape spinning there, but then it disappeared, and that's absolutely the point there. So this application is representing the fourth dimension by um, when objects are entering this dimension, not showing them. So you can see now that I'm turning the wheel uh, to find the block. All the other shapes as well are disappearing in various ways and also um, being present again. So these are shapes that uh, can be seen from or in three dimensions and that is the only case that we are seeing them and we are perceiving them as cubes but they're not real cubes they're hypercubes but now I find it so I can uh, pass on to the next level. So what is actually going on here? Well we can see that this cube uh, in front of us is occasionally getting sliced at odd angles which is very weird because it doesn't seem to obey any natural laws or normal Euclidean geometry so that when we turn it we don't necessarily see what we uh, imagine would be on the other side. Now what is interesting about this application is that this apparent shape shifting or instability is a genuine mathematical representation of four dimensional objects that are moving in four dimensions. So we see them appearing and disappearing from our view because we are in three dimensions and therefore only see a three dimensional slice of the 4D scene. So this is a hypercube but we're also going to look at hyperspheres um, which seem that they are getting larger or shrinking randomly, which is also very interesting. But perhaps because it forms a great parallel through which we can approach an understanding of how this can be so. So to explain this, I'm going to show you a video of Carl Sagan, because he explains this beautifully by paralleling how an apple would uh, appear larger and smaller depending on how it traversed through the two-dimensional world of Flatland. So here we are using the transition from three dimensions to two dimensions as sort of an analogy of how four-dimensional objects would appear in our three dimensions. Now a three-dimensional creature exists in Flatland only partially, only a plane, a cross-section through him can be seen. So when the three-dimensional creature first reaches flatland, it's only the points of contact which can be seen. And we'll represent that by stamping the apple in this ink pad and placing that image in flatland. And as the apple were to descend through, slither by flatland, we would progressively see higher and higher slices, which we can represent by cutting the apple. So the square, as time goes on, sees a set of objects mysteriously appear from nowhere and inside a closed room and change their shape dramatically. Now, I think this is a great way to think about it. Um, and it's exactly the same thing that's happening here. We see the shapes mysteriously appear and disappear. So, of course, it's still hard to imagine how what we feel to be the very inclusive three-dimensional world can be a mere slice of a fourth dimension, but this is still exactly how this operates. So, as you can see before me, we have an incredible number of various geometrical forms which we can trigger and see how they operate spinning in and out of the fourth dimension. For instance, perfectly symmetric fair dice with hundreds of sides. So, this is a great application, in my opinion, to get an intuitive feel for how other dimensions work. Although, of course, we can still never be able to imagine it completely, this I suppose is the closest that we can get, because we can actually interact with the objects to see their behavior. So, it's also interesting to see how the various objects collide with each other and how they behave, and actually holding them in your hand and rotating them to see how they move in and out through the various dimensions. So I'm not going to show you the whole application in this video, but I can tell you that as you move for further on in the application, you can unlock new levels and new challenges. For instance, trying to fit a hypercube into a hyperbole. So if this is your thing, this application is available at Steam for about $15. And if you don't have VR yourself, you can still use it on a traditional desktop PC or actually even on an iPhone, although I haven't tried that. 
Alright everyone, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please take time to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This will help our uh, channel to grow and we'll be able to release more content like this in the future. So thanks for 2000 subscribers already. It's been a really interesting um, yeah, half year doing this stuff. Thank you.